Today's video is a little bit of fun, but it's also a bit of advice, a cautionary tale. I am giving you 10 different things that are not only making you look older, but cheaper too. I am a 55 year old woman that made all of these mistakes and I thought I would share with you so you don't have to make those mistakes too. Remember ladies, this is just for fun. It's my opinion only. You don't need to change anything if you're happy. It's simply the things that I used to do that made me look older. So if you're ready, let's get started. The first mistake that I see so many women over 50 making is pulling their hair up super high, super tight in a top knot or bun. This straight away, first of all, looks, I'm sorry to say, cheap, but it also looks extremely aging. What you're doing actually is making yourself look older. Often when we're thinning around our temples, which can happen when we reach menopause and beyond, when you pull it up in that tight top knot, your hair tends to look thinner too. And if you're using one of those wax sticks to make it super slick, then you're also making a mistake of it looking greasy as well as aging. Number two are two dark brows, black brows and black thick eyeliner. Now I like eyeliner, I like it just on my top lashes and a tiny little flick. But when I see women who have got extremely thick and black eyebrows, and really thick eyeliner, this makes you look older. It is not a good look as we get older because what we're doing is emphasizing our eyes the way that we used to when we were younger and we had no bags or dark circles or lines or wrinkles and we are drawing attention to that area. Thick black dark brows and eyeliner is very aging. It looks hard, it looks harsh, it's not a soft look and it doesn't look chic. It actually, if anything, will cheapen your overall look. Number three is skinny jeans. Now they may be having a fashion comeback, they may be having a fashion moment. Unless you're a UK size eight or a US size four, skinny jeans simply do not look great. I'm sorry, they don't. I don't care who you are. Ultimately, you need to have a very slender frame and you need to have a very pert bottom for skinny jeans to look remotely stylish. The fact is, as we get older, things start to sag and drop and whilst you might like your front profile, trust me when I say your bottom is sagging and it isn't a very nice look and honestly, there are so many things you could be wearing instead of skinny jeans. For example, you could be wearing slim fitting jeans. They are so stylish, you can wear them with pretty much any footwear and you're going to look 100% better than if you were wearing skinny jeans. And while I'm on the topic of skinny jeans, let's talk about rips and tears in your jeans. When I see women over 50 wearing ripped jeans where all the knees are ripped out and then the thighs as if you've had a massive fight with a bear, I'm sorry, that's really aging and it makes you look cheap. Number four, are long acrylic nails. Now I don't mean nicely manicured nails, I'm talking about the kind of nails where you actually need assistance in order to do your everyday tasks. Really super long, super pointed, brightly painted nails are aging. I know it's fashionable, I know a lot of you love it, but it makes you look cheap and it makes you look older. To be honest with you, it looks really dated and I think there are so many nicer nail styles that you could adopt that will make you look much, much more elegant and stylish and younger. Number five is paisley and florals. Now I know a lot of you love florals. I like to have a little tiny little ditzy print sometimes on a dress. I'm talking about big bold floral patterns and paisley. It is really, really aging. I don't know what happens to us that we hit 50 or 60 and suddenly we make a beeline for the paisley department. Instead of paisleys, try wearing Breton stripes, nice stripes. They will elevate your look, they won't age you. If you really need to have a pattern, look for ditzy small patterns, not big paisleys, not big brown flowers. Don't wear anything 
that could be mistaken for curtains. That's my best advice. Number six is something that I believe we've all been guilty of, and that is wearing a badly fitting bra. Now, those sisters need to be held up. If we have badly fitting bras beyond the age of 50, not only do we make ourselves look older, our clothes are going to look badly fitted, we absolutely downgrade our outfits. A good fitting bra will elevate your bosom and also elevate your style. You will look younger, you will look perter, and you will look better. Why do we suddenly start wearing anoraks when we hit our 50s, 60s and beyond? Instead of an anorak, opt for a trench, a trench coat. Do as the Parisians do, adopt a trench coat instead of an anorak. And if you need head protection, find yourself a lovely hat or an umbrella. Forget the anoraks. A trench coat, however, will elevate your look. It is effortlessly stylish and it is timeless. Number eight are big, bold earrings. Now, if you have the perfect neck and no jowls, go for it. Wear beautiful, big, bold earrings all day long. However, if you're showing the signs of aging and you wear big earrings, you are drawing the eye directly to this area that most of us over 50 don't like, me included. Big, bold earrings that dangle, that have pom-poms and crystals and all things going on make you look older. It is a dated look. It is a bit cruise wear, which is fine if you're on a cruise, but if you're heading to the supermarket with your big, bold, dangly earrings and your hair up in a tight bun, you have just aged yourself by at least 10 years. What you need to opt for are smaller earrings that actually lift your face, not big hoops. I used to wear hoops when I was younger. I now opt for earrings that do not exceed my jawline, giving me a more lifted frame, a lifted face and making me look younger and stylish, not cheap. Number nine are boxy and baggy clothes. Now, as we get older, our body shape changes and this seems to send a lot of women into a total fashion spiral. We start opting for clothes that camouflage our shape rather than accentuate the parts that we do like. When we start wearing baggy and boxy clothes, what we actually do is not only ages, we start adding pounds. So therefore, if you're trying to hide the fact that you're carrying a few extra pounds or hide a menopausal tummy, wearing a big baggy smock dress or big baggy floaty trousers on top is going to make you look bigger and going to make you look older. Instead, go and find your true size. Opt for clothes that accentuate the parts that you do like and camouflage those areas that you don't like, not with great big baggy clothes, but with good fitting, stylish clothes. My final item that is making you look older than you truly are and makes you look, dare I say it, cheap, are wearing leggings day in, day out. Leggings are comfortable, I get it. They feel nice on the skin, they're easy to pull on. They help when you're feeling a little bit bloated. Leggings age you. They show every little lump, bump and flaw and they actually accentuate those problematic areas that you're probably trying to hide. I just don't get it. On the one hand, we have big and baggy clothes that are making you look older and the other extreme are leggings. Leggings do not flatter any woman over 50 unless you're Halle Berry or Jennifer Lopez. And that's it, ladies. I rest my case. Instead of wearing leggings, wear a good pair of jeans or some tailored trousers. They are just as easy to wear. They are just as easy to put on. It is just changing your mindset from something that is comfortable to something that is comfortable and stylish. So that's my video today. Take it with a pinch of salt. It is things that I have worn, that I have done, that I'm guilty of, that I no longer do because it made me look older. And yes, it made me look cheap. 
I do hope you enjoyed this video and if you did perhaps give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and if you haven't done so already remember to subscribe. I bring videos just like this every single week to help you look good and feel fabulous. Until the next time, bye for now.